let's give a warm welcome to Mr. Roger Wang. just now right at the auditorium. So can I do that again? Hi everyone, good morning to everyone here. Good morning. Much better. You know what? As the speakers or as someone that's up on stage, right, we need that kind of energy from our audience, right? Otherwise, you know, everyone is like, oh. it's not Monday. Today's what day? Wednesday, right? So, okay, midway through the week. And then two days more towards TGI, right? Okay, nevertheless, about now, I'm supposed to do the, uh, the opening itself. Now, we have actually prepared uh, quite a number of pages of notes. Now, if I'm going to go through all these notes, right, it will probably take you 45 minutes. Okay? But nevertheless, can I start something? No, I will start. Um, waiter. Sorry. Okay. I will start this, you know, especially in the morning, the very early part of the morning itself. We need to do a bit of exercise, right? I'm not, you see, I'm not hearing anything when it comes to exercise. Okay, can, 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 can perhaps have all of you stand up for a while? I promise it to be very, very short. Very short. Okay, all of us stand up. Okay, now, what I need you to do for the next three minutes, just three minutes, right? Look at the person behind you. Say hello. Look at the person in front of you. If you have someone in front of you, Say hello. <laughs> Alright, besides you, okay. Now for the next three minutes, we're going to play some music. Please collect five name cards, huh? Eh? Five name cards, introduce yourself. Impossible, make a date with them, okay? That's what we call speed dating. Alright, so we'll take a look the music started, please. Waiter? Okay, please exchange name cards with all the contacts. Make sure you go and speak baby. The next one is a stage all of our friends.
of shouting over the door. I didn't say that. <laughs> of negotiating, of discussion, where this finally takes shape today. All right. So please help me to give a round of applause to all the staff of MIS. You really put in a lot of hard work. Okay. Thanks, Shirley, Jocelyn, and all of them. So now, World Marketing Summit. Yes, is the brainchild of Professor Philip Kotler. All right, um, and all of us who studied marketing at a point of time will know who Professor Kotler is. He is the father of marketing and modern marketing. Now, something very strange uh, that comes out from this preparation over the past two years. Now, this is something personal experience which I would like to share. You know, after our meetings, uh, in fact, over the past, in fact, over the past three weeks, uh, I, I found out something very strange. Our meetings will always end around 2 a.m. You know, so um, me, my counselors, all we are all volunteers by the way, okay, and we are all members, volunteers, and being elected to serve as the council members. So all my council members will end their meeting around 2 a.m., 3 a.m. In fact, last night we ended around 4 a.m. Now, very strange incident. You know what happened? I'll, I'll see them coming down from the building, and you know what? They start taking pictures at 2 or 3 a.m. So that's a very strange phenomenon that I was asking myself. And you know what? Next, I saw them sending messages to their loved ones and their wife. All right? So to verify that they are working. <laughs> So please, uh, my council members, please stand up, please. Really would like to give a round of applause and really thank you for all the hard work. Ken, Cherry, Dr. Jerome, who else did I yeah. In fact, for the past two years, you can see us meeting almost every week. And our, usual, our meetings usually will start around 7 and it ends around 2, 3 a.m. So they have a lot of justification to do to their partner. Okay, so that really tells you that we really put in a lot of effort in bringing the World Marketing Summit to Singapore. Okay, now let's go on to the theme of the event. You know what's today's theme of the event itself? Today's theme is about market freedom. It's about global smart city. Okay, so basically, global smart city is an initiative that's being proposed by our government or by our trade development in, uh, in 2014. Okay, so the definition of uh, market printer, do we even need to define? Seriously? Now, we have two top market printer today that exist among us. You don't have to go far, and that's Dr. Uh, Dato Sri Darko, all right, and uh, Dr. Tosu Panitza. They are true blue market printer. Okay, so what is market product? First and foremost, marketers are seen as creative people. They are able to produce content that changes people's perception and influence consumer buying behavior. And of course, entrepreneurs, on the other hand, are considered to be innovators, risk takers. They challenge the status quo and help to stimulate the economy. So, that again doesn't mean that marketers cannot be entrepreneurs. Of course not. You know, they are very good examples. They are the business leaders in Singapore itself. So, in other words, we are all market premier. At a certain point of time, whether you are in uh, sales, you are in marketing, you know, and you are in, uh, even in operations, you are market premier at a certain point of the time itself. So as market premiers, we need to have the creative skill to translate our vision to revenue generating ventures. And we must also have the foresight and the initiative to determine the needs and wants of the society itself. Now, Singapore, we actually launched our Smart Nation Initiative in 2014. And you know that Singapore is ranked number one in the Global Smart City Performance Index. Something that we can be very proud of, right? Being a very small city, country, and we can be ranked number one in that period itself. So the, it, it's actually based on criteria such as the Internet of Things, technologies, connected services across mobile, healthcare, public safety, and productivity. So, as Singaporeans, we do have the prerequisite to be on the global platform. Right? And our global, Singapore is actually also a global trading hub. Um, it's largely due to our geographic uh, location itself. And in fact, in 2017, Singapore shipped more than 
373 US billions worth of products around the globe. Now, um, early early part of this, sorry, this sorry, uh, last month itself, in fact, uh, Premier Li Keqiang uh, from China was in Singapore. All right, and when he was addressing to our Singaporean audience, he acknowledged that Singapore is China's largest foreign investor. Well, we can be something, something that we can be very proud of. As a very small country itself, yet we are able to affect and influence the big countries such as China. And we have been dubbed by the economies as the world's most tightly packed entrepreneurial ecosystem. Okay? And why? The reason why is because Singapore, we all know we do not have the natural resources. So what we have is really our talent. Okay? So that's why in, in, uh, Singapore actually invested in talent grooming at a very early stage of our uh, history. But we also have the fastest broadband speed around the world, rivaling Norway. And our government has actually invested in a lot of infrastructures, which is in line with Smart Nation Initiative. Now, um, for Singapore itself, we have about 4.38 million of Singaporeans that are now online. In fact, it contributed to 86% of our population. And in fact, 93% of them are daily internet users. So, you see, there's an opportunity that actually exists. And it's up to us as market to make others the opportunity. Okay? Now, um, the, the other thing that will be happening today, uh, other than the MOE signing ceremony between MIS and Teochew Pukwekwa, will be the Kotler Award, which we'll be giving out today. Um, and I have to thank Sadia, in fact, for allowing us to give out all the awards. Um, if you were to find, in fact, anywhere in the world, there were only five awards to be given. And only in Singapore, she made it very special for us. And uh, we'll be giving eight uh, Cobblers Award today. Okay? And all these are really top business leaders, top of their game itself. Let me mention one special person uh, that I would like to acknowledge, and that is uh, Mr. Vincent Wu. Tia, Mr. Thank you. Those who know Tsinghua, please put up your hand. So you can see quite a few. Huh? So if you don't know, he's actually a martial artist. Uh, he's also an actor. And on top of that, he's also an entrepreneur. I know him personally. He's a very good business. He has got very good business human. So that's why today, we take the opportunity to acknowledge uh, what he has done in, uh, for our community and for Singapore. And of course, there are a lot of people that I need to give acknowledgement to. All right? And of course, to our professors that really traveled all the way from UK, from France, from Germany. Thank you so much. And today we have with us, uh, and I need to acknowledge one of our awardees, will be Mr. Howie Lang. Mr. Howie Lang, thank you, sir. He's the Chief Industry Development Officer from the IMDA itself. Thanks for coming here and joining us today. Now, I have a very brief session with Howie in his office. And he's someone that is able to crystallize the concept of marketing into something very simple to comprehend. Right? So, marketing, we were saying that marketing is it an art, science. He said, in fact, started from an art to a science, and back to an art again, right? So, so that, that, that is something really, to me, quite profound and easy to understand at the same time. And of course, I'd like to give acknowledgement to Dr. Thio Ha Peng. Executive Director of Union Gas, sir. Thank you for joining us. Despite that we are very busy scheduled to be in our uh, panelists. And Mr. Leonard Tan, the group chair chair chairman for Chinking Tech Group. <laughs> Mr. Benjamin Lim, Managing Director of Ewa Design Private Limited. Thank you, sir, for joining us. And Ross. Ross, is Ross here? Okay, Ross will be coming later. And of course, Julian. Hi, Julian. Very, very good looking young. Entrepreneur in residence from French Embassy and founder and MD of Co Creation Lab. And last but not least, my good friend Priya. Where is he? Okay, sorry, pardon me because he was with us until 4 a.m. today. Right? So, I was like his steps. so I guess enough of me uh, doing the opening itself. Um, so, thank you everyone for coming, and I hope that uh, all of you have a great time.
in learning, gaining knowledge, and connecting each other. Thank you, everyone. Thanks. Thank you.